Man, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tyrone Hunter back in the building with another edition of What's Really Good Entertainment. If you've been rocking with the channel, I appreciate you. I'm going to keep it coming for you. Keep that good content coming. If you're checking in for the first time, hit the like button the way in the door. Hit the subscribe button on the way out the door. Um, It's a sad scenario and occasion when you have a person who allegedly get their jaw broke and allegedly get a tooth knocked out that still feel they won a boxing match. Um, today's topic, we're going to be talking about none other than boxing fighter Adrian Broner. And how he went from one of the top fighters, uh, you know, in the Mayweather camp. At one time, he was real close to Floyd Mayweather um, to now falling from grace. You don't have to be a boxing fanatic or a boxing fan to listen to this topic. This is a cautionary tale of how not being humble, being cocky and arrogant can make you lose it all and turn around look embarrassed in front of the entire world. So if you want to hear more about this topic, man, make sure you hit that like button and share button. Stay to the end of the video. Um, Cause you already know how we do on this side. It get real spicy. So without further ado, um, this story, as I said, is the rise and fall of a boxing star by the name of Adrian Broner. Uh, recently, Adrian Broner had a boxing match. Uh, in this match, he got knocked down, um, and then they have video of him where after the fight, he telling him to take the gloves off of him. He got to go to the hospital. Uh, it's been reported and it's alleged that uh, one of his teeth was knocked out in this bout as well as uh, his jaw was broke. Now, I can't confirm that, but, you know, that's pretty much what they're saying. And they're saying there was probably something wrong with his hand. Uh, maybe he injured his hand in the fight. Uh, but at this point, it's safe to say that it's, it's kind of over for Adrian Broner. And this is a cautionary tale of how you need to stay humble and be humble, uh, even when you're in a great and, and, and big position in life, because you never know if or when you're going to fall back down to the bottom. Now, again, for those of y'all that don't know Adrian Broner, um, he's a championship boxer. You know, he was a, a friend of Floyd Mayweather at one time. He was one of the, he was one of the young greats, uh, you know, before we was hearing of Javante Tank Davis, as well as before we was hearing of, um, you know, Shakur, um, you know, the likes of Frank Martin. Um, this, this was that guy. I recall a few years back, he had a fight with one individual by the name of Paulie Malignaggi. Um, that fight took place at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. And Adrian Broner, during that match, you know, it was a lot of trash talking back and forth between him and Paulie Malignaggi. And, you know, Adrian Broner had said at that time that he had took Paulie Malignaggi girl. Uh, and he brought her to the boxing fight. Um, Adrian Broner used to do things like, you know, when he come in the ring, he'll have on, you know, all his jewelry because he wore a lot of uh, big jewelry. And he'll have his father, you know, brushing his hair with a brush. Um, as they started to announce the fight, he was always yelling at ring announcers and, you know, saying how nobody could whoop him. And, you know, um, he was just a very, very arrogant fighter. And then his father passed away. I recall making a video of his father passing away a couple of years back. You know, just that was just me giving my condolences um, because I don't, you know, I don't make fun of anybody in that light, especially somebody that lose their father. And I knew he was kind of going through it because a lot of videos were surfacing that he was getting drunk and, you know, he was arguing with people in the club. He was falling out, you know, um, Allegedly, he was going through a big depression at the time. He was going through a lot of life issues. And alcoholism is one of the things that they said was responsible for the decline of his career. Because he wasn't really taking training and going to the gym serious. Uh, when you get in that boxing ring, you have people that are really, really in there competing. 
there are people that really stay in the gym and they're training and they're trying to be in the best shape possible so that they can win these boxing matches. And for somebody like Adrian Broner to be out in the club partying and drinking and then go to a fight and think he gonna win, that kind of caught up with him in time because the competition that's in the boxing ring and in the boxing arena, you know, nowadays, it's a lot more stiff. Like people are really, really training very hard. They're really sharpening their skills. So boxing is not like it was a few years back where if you was a great fighter, people would be scared of your reputation and you really didn't have to train as hard. Another boxer that learned that lesson the hard way was Mike Tyson. You know, uh, when he got beat by Buster Douglas, he was one of those individuals at that time in his career, he used to do a lot of partying, you know, because he was a heavyweight champ. He was knocking everybody out. He didn't anticipate that he was going to go in the ring with somebody that was going to put up a great challenge. And Buster Douglas just so happened to be one of those people that do it. But going back to Adrian Bronin, as I said, Adrian Broner became a very, very cocky, an arrogant individual. Um, it was to the point, you know, that people just started to dislike him. Um, he started getting a lot of negative press because although he was a good fighter, people just couldn't understand why he was acting the way that he was acting and, you know, acting that he was better than everybody else. And, you know, he was untouchable and he couldn't be beat. He couldn't be stopped. Well, as fate would have it, he got stopped actually a couple of times. And since then, he's been trying to rebound in his boxing career. Well, in this latest fight that he had, um, you know, this fight was no different than his last couple of fights in which he lost the fight, clearly lost the fight. And he was saying that he won the fight, you know. Um, I'm not going to go into that, but it was just one particular video that I was watching uh, where another boxing great, um, he was actually a great and dynamic fighter, you know, at one time, a guy by the name of Andre Berto. Um, they, had a, uh, they had an interview with Andre Berto after the Adrian Broner fight. And, you know, he, he reacted, he gave his take on, you know, um, what he thought happened. But the thing for me is I had started to read some of the comments and in the comment section, one person said, it's over for Broner. It's been over for a few years now, but he still doesn't have money and his bills and kids to pay for. So what does he do now is the question. Somebody else remarked, AB reaction from hospital. Y'all know I beat that boy. Because that became a common thing when he clearly got beat. He would still go on to say that he beat the person. Somebody else said, A.B. heading back to Walmart looking for that change that he said he didn't need. That's all, folks. Another person comment, that tooth implant is going to cost more than what he made tonight. Another comment, very respectful interview from Birdo. Shout out to A.B. Shout out to A.B. Um, for trying to make it happen. You can see some glimpses of the old AB tonight, but he just couldn't put it together. Congrats to Cobbs. That was the person that he fought, Cobbs. Um, another person said, AB is a cautionary tale to stay humble. Another person said, tell Broner to send me his resume. I'm hiring waiters. Wow, that's a crazy comment. Uh, one said, AB's in a hospital with lost tooth and broken elbow. I did this for the hood, <laughs> the comment said. Uh, another one said, A.B. kept his hands up and wouldn't throw because he had PTSD from those knockdowns he suffered in his losses. He just doesn't have it anymore. And again, that's just some of the comments that people have for Adrian Broner, uh, who was once a great, um, great fighter. And his being cocky and arrogant and the way that he treated people and the way that he didn't take, you know, the sport serious uh, due to him allegedly, you know, just doing a lot of drinking and a lot of partying and hanging out instead of being in the gym and being dedicated to his craft. But clearly, based on this fight, it just seems like Adrian Broner, a.k.a. AB, a.k.a. About Billions, it just seems like she no longer has it. Um... And clearly his fight is 
over. This wasn't even the person that he fought. This wasn't even somebody that you you hear about a lot. Somebody that that's even ranked in terms of the top fighters. It was, you know, pretty much kind of like a nondescript fighter, you know, that beat Adrian Broner worse than uh, some of the big name fighters that he's fought. So, again, you know, I just wanted to do this quick piece on Adrian Broner. Um, shout out to Adrian Broner, you know, for getting in the ring and uh, getting in there and trying to do what he do and, and see if he still had it. I'm glad that he made it out alive, even though he may have a couple of injuries. Um, I do myself think that his career is over and, you know, I just wish him a speedy recovery. Uh, shout out to the individual that he was fighting Cobbs and congratulations on the victory. And again, for all of the people out there, this is a cautionary tale of how it's always better to remain humble, not to be arrogant, because the same people that you look down on when you're at the top are the same people that you can actually come back across when you hit the bottom. And Adrian Broner fell hard, and it don't look like he's about to get back up, especially in boxing. He'd probably have to go into another career. But it's your boy Tyrone Hunter. Um, I'm just checking in with another edition of What's Really Good. If you like the content, you like the information, hit the like button, hit the share button, uh, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out some of my other videos. I'm going to be right back with y'all soon with another banger. Until then, signing off. Hope you enjoy your Saturday. We gone.